Hey everybody, out of the layout room and out of the garage today, we are on the Boone and Scenic Valley Railroad. In fact, the engine just getting us all hooked up again. We were at the turnaround spot. We do a breakneck speed of 10 to 14 miles an hour out here. Uh, we're in a pond overflow area of the Des Moines River, uh, just west of Boone, Iowa, near where they have a lot of monarch gardens, as they said out here. We'll go over here quick and take a look. And this is the spur line where they turn around. This is the spur line, he said, where trains coming from Fort Dodge met trains coming from Des Moines. And they could meet and switch loads and uh, move their way out. This is the main line that's still actually used, but we're on a spur line uh, right now. But we're getting ready to move again. I'm probably going to go back to my seat here in just a second, but beautiful out here. We went across the high bridge over the Des Moines River a little bit ago. That was really nice, really beautiful. Maybe I can sneak back out here and do it again when we go back over it a second time. All right, well, again, real, uh, real scale railroading today. This is actually my first passenger train ride. They have uh, dinner trains out here, in which they have an old UP City of Los Angeles dining car and a Southern Pacific City of San Francisco dining car. It is a lot of cool stuff out here. Again, my first time actually riding any kind of a train uh, in my life. Besides, uh, the besides the subway, but that doesn't count. Well, it's still a train. That's the Des Moines River we're going by right now. Eventually, we're going to get to a bridge that goes right over the top of the devil. <laughs> Look at that little guy. That was kind of cool. First time on a railroad. But I've got to do something with this again. 93 year old car setup. As we head back towards Boone, Iowa. Beautiful territory, especially out here with the foliage turning and some spots. Some spots it's already done. But yeah, beautiful out here on the Boone and Scenic Valley Railroad. Uh, another little flavor of what we're seeing. I'll show you the other side where it's all embankments. For the most part, there's some good side views on that side. That's the side I'm on, but here we go, right by the Des Moines River again. We're on a spur that would have the trains from Des Moines meeting the trains from Fort Dodge. And uh, they'd switch loads and move around what they needed to do, but we're right along the Des Moines River. A lot of fun, beautiful scenery out here. The river up in central Iowa. Take the uh, take the timer home and check it out. Picture again a little bit later. This area of floods, you notice we don't have any permanent structures down here on there. In 1956, when the power plant was flooded, this was under eight feet of water here. So this has a history of uh, Des Moines River likes to come out onto it here. So Frazier was here, uh, active, again, 1,800 people here, <clears throat> probably at its peak in the mid-1915s, 19, 19 1916. Coal mines for the war effort for World War One. After that, the coal mines in this area started to play out on there to do it. The United Mine Workers still had a meeting hall here in the uh, 50s on there. Right now, it's a town of about uh, uh, 100 people on there. So Frazier was interesting on there. It had an opera house. It had two churches. It had nine saloons. One saloon for around 200 people on there. So, so it had a reputation for being a tough town. There was a party back there in the caboose grew up here and, and uh, told the story. So there were some tough people here in the town on there, but there were some good people here on there. Uh, mines went out. The, the power plant here for the railroad was the main main source of, uh, of uh, employment for the people here. So I'll be back and visit with you a little bit. Uh, any of you have a butterfly garden? No butterfly garden? Anybody? Marine garden? You need to find a butterfly garden for the for the monarchs and the bees on there. This area here is 4.67 acres is the monarch refuge. So we're working with Iowa State University to restore this. There's a lot of, uh, there's four species of milkweeds down there. Make the monarchs happy. A lot of bee balm, a lot of catnip and everything. So people say we have weeds and trees. They're wildflowers and trees. So you'll see some uh, signs going along. You might have noticed them on the right away on either side, little small placard signs. Didn't get it all done this year. We'll try to label all the trees, the major trees that we have. So come back next year. Hopefully they'll be all done. If you want to, if you're a good arborist down there, and you're a good forester, come see us as well. Crossing the Des Moines River 
on the choo choo train. I know, I said choo choo train. Big boy, my model railroad. Right here's a YMCA camp right over there. Beautiful scene over there. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This river was flooded out big time this spring and summer. This is the High Point Bridge over Bass Creek. You can't even see the creek. But uh, it's a long way down. Beautiful. Again, if you guys are ever getting to the. Well, there is a creek down there. What do you know? It is the. Uh, Ooh, and seen it really Railway. Beautiful spot down here. It's a beautiful view, guys. Let's go back here and look at that. Long way down. 